हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉक विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर अपडेट्स इन माय चैनल ओके सो हियर आई एम टू गिव यू दी थर्ड न्यू ईयर्स रेसोल्यूशन विच इज मेकिंग फॉर्मूला लिस्ट एंड एडिंग शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स शॉर्ट कर्ड्स एंड शॉर्ट नोट्स टू दट लिस्ट ओके सो दिस session of uh, all tips will be surely useful for all teacher recruitment exams like uh, hstr kvs ctet and uh, many more exams like karnataka tet also okay so let us start uh, making this new year's resolution which is uh, making formula list and adding short tricks to that list what we have to do first of all is uh, as i told you in the previous uh, resolution about the uh, making notes no either you take one separate notebook or one loose sheet but main thing is you will have to insert it after each chapter if it is a loose sheet or if it is a book means after each chapter you have left two three pages no you can use any one page for making that formula list okay so what you have to do is you have to write all formulae while solving uh, the chapter in sequence and you have to write that formulae at one place okay how you will write them you will read one chapter you will prepare for the chapter and you will make a chapter wise formula copy at once after you finish each chapter okay once you are prepared with that chapter you will write that formula list okay now another important point which you should remember is that uh, just by reading the chapter if you are making that formula list uh, maybe sometimes that will not be enough so you have to include the formula which you find while solving the multiple choice questions also okay sometimes you read the full chapter and you try to attempt multiple choice questions you will not be able to solve few of the questions some typical formula will be there in those questions no those formula also you should take and you should add in the formula copy in that formula copy this particular formula was not present from the chapter okay you read the chapter you made a formula copy but you found one new formula from the same chapter while solving the multiple choice question so that formula also you should take and write down here okay so you should not leave any chance of gathering the formula okay gathering all formulae you will have to write it in one place after each chapter okay now you will ask me madam from then you are telling formula copy formula list but how it will look so i have one uh, uh, picture for you all just to show you how to make a formula copy okay or a list of formula here you can see how a formula list looks this is a physics formula list see in one page only waves optics electricity and power so much all how many 1 2 3 4 chapters came in one sheet only okay so like this you have to make formula list this will help you a lot just before the exam and also you can revise this formula list on daily basis or weekly basis also it will be very easy maybe you can stick that paper on a wall where you are sleeping no from your pillow say straight in front of your eyes some wall is there on that wall you can stick this paper or you can keep this paper below your pillow or uh, you know what uh, some people do they stick it on the mirror in the bathroom while brushing the teeth they are reading this is a formula okay see i am not telling you all to do that it depends some people are comfortable by doing some things it's all in your comfort zone what i can do is i can give you tips to remember this formula okay the main tip is you have to make the list and it is your wish okay uh, what few women do no maximum of time they are cooking in the kitchen what they do in just above this towel in front of the eyes on the wall will be there no on that wall they stick this uh, paper okay so what happens is whenever they are making chapatis or whenever they are cooking food they are just to go through in this formula okay so this is one very easiest way to remember formula at a time in one sheet you have written everything and you have sticked it so whatever numericals will come or maybe some direct questions come from formula you will never go wrong because uh, you have seen them so many times right 
you have observed them so many times you have read them so many times in the kitchen so you will never go wrong so this is one best thing to prepare for a competitive exam okay that's why i kept this picture also so that it will be clear for you all not only physics you can do this for mathematics you can do this for chemistry you can do this for biology also you know what you can do for biology is you can write down some very very important points from each chapter highlight them and uh, just write it in one sheet like this and stick it on the wall that's it okay so this is how you can make a formula list now next part uh, of uh, this process is uh, writing down shortcuts short notes and the tricks in the formula copy this is very very important i will give you examples okay for example now this is a mathematics question okay the arithmetic progression question the question is in an arithmetic progression seven times the seventh term is equal to 11 times the 11th term then you have to find the 18th term of arithmetic progression now there is one normal procedure to solve it by using the formula but if you observe the question carefully they are giving 7 times 7th term is equal to 11 times 11th term here 7 plus 11 is 18 and they are telling you to find 18th term like that only they may give 11 times 11th term is equal to 19 times 19th term they will tell you to find it 30th term here 11 plus 19 is 30 right like that only they may give 15 times 15th term is equal to 9 times 9th term they will tell you to find it 24th term see here 15 plus 9 is 24 right so if this pattern of question is there then the answer is zero so this is a shortcut right you don't need to solve the question at all so you have to search for this type of shortcuts and you have to include in the formula list okay means if you are making a list of formula for progression chapter in that in arithmetic progression part this shortcut should be present in your list okay so i i included this just to give an example in fact i didn't know this shortcut also one of my paid aspirants told me in the telegram group they have their own telegram groups no they keep discussing everything i also help them in solving problems and clearing their doubts so in one of the discussions no this shortcut came up okay she gave this shortcut i was very happy because i also did not use this shortcut to solve this problem this is actually i think karnataka tet question this is actually from previous question paper it is so like this uh, shortcuts uh, you need to include in your formula list okay now short notes what is a short notes i am giving you example this is for a chemistry aspirants how to do interconversion between moles mass and number of particles instead of writing one big paragraph just to make a diagram like this see here if you want to convert number of particles into number of moles then you just divide number of particles by avogadro's number if you want to convert number of moles into mass in grams simply multiply the number of moles by molar mass if you want to convert mass in grams into number of moles simply divide it by molar mass or if you want to convert number of moles into number of particles again go back by multiplying it with avogadro's constant see one small diagram is giving you four types of conversions right and uh, maybe one question will be surely asked from this part so you will be done with that question right so this is known as a short notes just by some symbol or uh, like in the form of a mind map you can include it in your formula list okay next is a short trick what is a short trick a short trick may be like this if i want to remember this atomic particles discovery proton was discovered by rutherford electron was discovered by thomson neutron was discovered by cadwick just to remember this what i will do no i will just remember pen equal to rtc p e n pen equal to rtc so much only i will remember p e n R T C in the left hand side P for proton E for electron N for neutron in the right hand side R for Rutherford T for Thomson C for Cadwick so pen is equal to R T C how easy it is right 
So this is a short trick you should include in your formula list. Okay, you have to find this type of short tricks. Okay, actually uh, I have a telegram channel. You can join the telegram channel. There is a telegram group also. Through the telegram channel you can get into the telegram group. There you can uh, type the messages. Okay, you can have conversation directly with me also. So there you can share this short tricks. Okay. If even if I know, I will also share. If you all know, you also share these uh, short tricks uh, so that everyone will get help. Okay. Till your examination, you are not competitors. You all are friends. On the exam day only, you are competitors. Okay. You should keep this in mind that uh, if you share knowledge, knowledge will always increase only. It will never decrease. Okay. Today you help someone, someone will help you the next day. This is the process of learning. So we should never uh, put uh, knowledge uh, inside us and uh, think that uh, we will not give this knowledge to others uh, so that I will win. That will never lead you to success. Okay. You should always share knowledge and this is one best uh, path towards success. Okay. So coming back to short tricks. Uh, huh, I was telling you that you can share the short tricks in the telegram group. Okay. It will be very nice. Okay. So this uh, short trick uh, I gave you an example. Uh, you can make short tricks of your own also, of your own in your language and you can add it in your formula list. Okay. Another short trick, simple short trick. Actually, it is not a short trick. It is a factor. But then many people don't know. So, we make it as a trick so that people remember it. For Wheatstone Bridge, if there are same resistors on the forearms of the Wheatstone Bridge, then the equivalent resistance or the net resistance will nothing but be equal to the value of that resistor. Okay. So, R equivalent will be equal to that resistor value itself. For example, if effective resistance between A and B, if it is like this, the diagram is there, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, everywhere 10 ohms is there, then the answer is also, the net resistance is also equal to 10 ohms only. Okay. This type of tricks also you have to gather and you put it in your formula list of a current electricity. This thing though you will put it in current electricity chapter, right? The before thing you will put it in chemistry chapter, atomic structure. Before that you will put it in your first chapter of chemistry. Before that you will put it in arithmetic progression chapter, correct? So this type of short cuts, short notes and short tricks should be gathered and put in your formula list and try to revise them at least if not daily at least try to revise them weekly or like i said uh, try to stick it on the wall nearby wall or uh, which wall you usually look at daily you know on that wall you can stick it and you can have glance daily okay i really hope that uh, this resolution will surely help you in uh, succeeding towards hstr okay thank you bye